for years and years and years and years, people have been advocating for new concrete at Baylor for their students and for physical accessibility. And they can go and spend $213 million over at this basketball stadium, but they can't spend some money on some new concrete. Alumni Kristen DeHaven plans to finish what she started during her time as a Baylor student. She started a petition that is over 300 signatures, but hopes to match the number of students enrolled. I wanted to stick with it until I saw at least a little bit of change, and I haven't seen any of that yet. So. The petition addresses accessibility issues on campus that she says don't allow Baylor to be an inclusive community. As a disabled former student herself, the list includes many things she struggled with. If the sidewalks and the crosswalks and the elevators consistently worked, then I wouldn't need to use parking spaces at every single building and I wouldn't have to drive between classes. I could just use my wheelchair from class to class. Some students on campus have recognized this long-standing issue and support her petition, even if that means just one elevator can be fixed. Ola really, like, I feel like does more accessibility on the learning side and academics, which is great, but we need, like, students that need to be able to have physical accessibility changed. So Lori Fogelman, vice president of PR and media at Baylor, says Baylor appreciates students and alumni sharing their concerns on important issues to the university. While Baylor is in compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act, as a caring Christian community, accessibility is an important issue and the university always wants to do more. Fogelman did not comment whether Baylor will address the petition in the future. And to view this petition, visit change.org. For Lariat TV News, I'm Danica Young.